So um, Melina normally comes for some fillers. This particular filler seems to have lasted quite a long time. So what we're going to do today is more something we've been doing for quite a while actually, and that is a lip flip. Now when I say we've been doing it for quite a while, I know it's become favorite recently, but if you take the orbicularis muscles, either the one around the eye, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis ori, when you consider that these muscles are quite big and prominent, so if we temporarily paralyze part of it, then the rest of it is going to come into action. And we did this many, many years ago, believe it or not, with blepharospasm. Um, I think we were the first clinic that I ever know, certainly, to do it where uh, when you had a patient with practically almost closed eyes, if you just went in above the eye um, lid, just for the, I suppose, the hair follicles are, and just put in a little bit, instead of dropping it, it opened up the eyes. And um, I performed that for the first time in 2000, 1999, actually, with a patient who has passed on since he was a famous artist. And um, technically, we're doing the same technique um, within the lip. So if we, I suppose, almost like a filler, put a little bit into the vermilion border, and um, then um, the upper part of the lip will cause this part to flip out. Now, um, this becomes important, particularly with those type of patients who have got a requirement for a lip lift rather than lip augmentation. These patients normally would require surgery. So if the philtrum is um, more than 1.7, some of them are up to two. And if you excuse me, Miranda, I'll just get a, a ruler. So normally we measure this length and it's totally normal with Melina, it's only 1.5. But some people have it greater than two and they've got an inverted lip. And those patients, there's no point in putting fillers in them because in some ways what you do is drive maybe the lip to invert more. And those are the patients that require surgery. So these are perfect patients for flipping lips. So um, I predict that this will become very popular, particularly there's a, I suppose, recent fashionable move by um, some celebrities and some um, influencers to move away from fillers, and this is one of the way, ways it'll go. So without further ado, we'll do the rest of Melina's Botox.